In two minutes, you'll find out how to add media files in Filmora. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Filmora Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to import or add media files in Filmora. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more tips and tricks videos, there'll be links in the des description box below. So once you open Filmora, uh, this is what you're going to get. So you're going to look at a screen like this. And so in order to create your project, uh, you have to ha uh, choose uh, this create project selection on the left. And then if you click here, create new project, that's going to give you a new screen. So let's do that. So now you have a blank page and this is your new project. And today I'm only going to show you how you can add media to your project. Uh, I do not address any other issues in this video, but if you like this video, please give it a like so I can make more Filmora videos. So it's very simple to add media in Filmora and I'm going to uh, show you uh, three different ways. So if you take a look here, uh, this is where your media files are going to be located uh, or are going to be kept regardless how you add them. So the first way you can add is uh, here, click here to import media. So if you click on here, then you can see that it's giving an option to choose a folder. So I'm just going to change the folder destination and I'm going to choose desktop. And here I have a film or a tutorial folder uh, where there are you know, two video and one audio file. And if I click on them one by one and then click open, then it's going to add these three media files in Filmora. So now you can see that these files are located in Filmora and then in order to start working you have to just you know drag and drop them to your time timeline so which is going to be just like this way. Now you might get a notification saying that you know the resolution or frame rate of this media does not match so what it is just saying that you know your project setting is different than the frames you're exporting so for example the frames we have here there are um, 59.94 frame per second and they're 2702 by 1520. So basically th these are 2.7K uh, and the project setting is you know 1080. So you can choose either match the media or project setting. And also I'd like to sh uh, show you, you can change project setting just by going to files. And then if you go to project settings, and then here you can see that it has 1080. So here you can change uh, to uh, 4K, which is right here, or 1080, which is right here, or 720. So basically that's how you change your project re resolution. So this is one way of adding uh, files to Filmora. So I'll just, you know, delete all these. And let's get rid of all these two so I can show you the next way. Okay, so I removed everything. Now the next way you can um, add files or media files to Filmora is that just drag and drop. So in order to do that, you have to a little bit, you know, make your Filmora smaller so you can sh see your desktop. And then you have to go to the folder where your, you know, files are located. So for example, in this folder, I have these three files which I would like to drag and drop. So what you can do, you can just highlight all of them. Uh, if you need like you know couple or one just then highlight that one so here i'm just going to you know uh, draw uh, highlight all of them because i'd like to import all these three and if you just you know hold it after highlighting it then you can see that this is changing to three when you move your uh, cursor that means that you know you copied three uh, files all of them and then just take your cursor right here and release the button or mouse button and if you do that then it's going to put uh, those files in Filmora and then from here you can just you know put it into your time timeline so this is the second method so I'm just going to delete all these again and I'll show you the third method so let's do that okay so the third method is that instead of putting it here in the you know media section or media folder you can just you know uh, put them directly into the timeline 
so in order to do that you have to do the same thing again uh, select all or one or two or whatever you need then if you just you know left click and hold them and then instead of putting here what you can do you can put directly into the timeline and now you can let me just minimize the screen and now you can see that you know uh, this is already placed in timeline and any anytime you're putting everything anything in timeline then this is going to you know show up here because basically this is the main folder where these files are located now so it's always going to be there but now you don't have to actually drag and drop into the timeline because it's already located in the in the timeline sometimes i use this method if i need to you know drag directly something into the timeline but most other times i just put it in here because that makes it easier uh, so later on i can choose select and choose which one i want to put into timeline so these are the three methods to drag or add media files to filmora now if you're watching this video after many years or after a few years and if your screen doesn't match with exactly what you're looking at uh, this is because uh, probably Filmora has gone through updates the conception is going to be the same but you know it might just look a little bit different but the process or procedure I showed, showed you today is going to still work thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video